Okay, it's a short video to show you how to um, change the head plate in our race exercise saddle. You notice, obviously, the notch here, which must locate into the saddle so that the head plate is absolutely flush with the top of this plate. Then line up the 3mm plate and do up three screws that are 16mm in length. This plate and the plate below it act as an anti-shake. In other words, to stop the, uh, the bolt shaking itself loose. Here you see again the head plate flush. One, two, three head parts fixings. Bring that over. Screw the last one in. And there you have it, it's done. Okay, this is a short video to show you how to uh, fit the head plates, or more correctly, where to fit the head plates. Obviously, we've got the different sizes here. If we look at the horse's back for a second, you should find the end of the scapula, the, the point that is furthest back. And if you put three fingers behind that scapula, if you've got normal size fingers, that should be about five centimeters. So we want this point five centimeters back behind the shoulder blade. In relation to the head plate, that's the center of this little circle here. So we're gonna put place the head plate there. And what we're looking for is that the angle of this arm follows the angle of the horse. We're not going to be worried about a little bit of rocking because we do have, in the center of this, we have our fillet, which will make this sit up a little bit off of the horse's spine. So what we're looking for is that we get a consistent angle as opposed to this one, which is too wide. And this one, which is too narrow. Okay, so here's the perfect one again. Five centimeters back. And that's where we have a more consistent angle. Okay. Okay, the one thing we haven't said is that the head plate should not be held vertical. It should actually be held at 45 degrees as it sits in the saddle. So there's your three fingers, there's the center of your circle, and the head plate pointing backwards, so about a 45 degree angle.